guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Caitlin. I'm doing a Shein try and haul as the title would uh, explain. Um, I ordered 10 bathing suits from Shein about like three weeks ago and they're already here. So that's pretty good given the circumstances that it only took about three weeks. It took about like two weeks to like process and then it shipped out and I got here in like a few days after it shipped from China. So I got about 10 bathing suits. Uh, I got a cover up which I'm actually wearing so I'll show you guys that first and a pair of sunglasses. So without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling. I haven't done this in a while so we'll see how this first video goes. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below what kind of swimwear companies you want me to review, style of swimsuits you want to see me in. I'm around a size 6 to 8, sometimes 10 given the style of top because I am a little bit larger chested. Um, all of the basic bathing suits that I have ordered are in a size large because of my larger chest. I need a size large. But I will let you know now all of the tops from Shein, I've ordered from Zaffle before too, they're pretty much the same thing. They fit very, very small, the tops. Um, even though they say they're a large, they fit like a size medium or small. So just keep that in mind when you're ordering. Maybe if you want to try an extra large, by all means. Um, all of the bottoms that I ordered fit like a medium. So for me and for my body type, I would say that the bathing suits fit true to size slash small, but they work for me. <laughs> um, so again, they're all in a size large. Um, the cover up I'm wearing is a medium. Yeah, and I will leave all of my measurements down below in the description bar and I will um, attach each bathing suit as well in the description with a link so if you guys like any of them you can just go directly to it. I'm pretty sure they're all still in stock. If they're not in stock I will try to find a similar style on the same website um, and I will link that, link that one down below as well. So without further ado let's get right on into this video. First thing I want to show you guys is obviously the cover up that I am wearing. Again it is in a size medium. Um, it fits pretty small, but it is tight, it is a little bit stretchy, um, the straps are not adjustable so that's a little bit of a bummer, um, but it's just like this white crochet, um, like knit kind of material, it's really really soft actually, and I think this was only about like $10 I want to say, pretty much everything I ordered is about under $20 for sure, everything's under $20, I think the most expensive thing I got was like $18, one of the bathing suits, but Prices will all be either shown here on the screen or they will be linked down below as well. The next thing that I ordered was a pair of sunnies and I really like the quality of the sunglasses. This is my first time ordering sunglasses from a cheaper style website or like dupe style website I guess whatever you want to call it. Um, but they come in this cute little black um, case, um, pleather obviously, but it's really nice, it's really hard and you just open it on up and they come with like a little cleaning cloth which is really cute actually I wasn't expecting that and these are the style that I got I am obsessed with these they're so cute they're like a no frame like a raw edge black with like gold um, like metal hardware very like 90s inspired I think they're really cute I have like this picture in mind of what I want to do with these. And I'm really excited. I like these. So yeah, those are those. Next thing I want to show you is this bikini that I had on underneath of the cover up. All their bikinis come in like these cute little banana leaf little pouches. Um, so if you want to store them in these, I usually store all my bathing suits in their like pouches that they come in if they come in something like this, just so they're all organized. I'm not digging through a bin looking for all these different pieces. I just find it a lot easier when I'm searching for a specific bathing suit. So the bathing suit that I have on right now is a dupe from a brand called Kasani Swimwear, I believe. But I've seen cherry bathing suits, uh, <laughs> bathing suits. I've seen cherry bathing suits like everywhere. Like cherry print never really went away. It's always kind of been around. But I think Kasani kind of made it like brought more light to the print. Same with butterflies. I feel like they really brought the butterfly print back, which I have another duping suit that I'm going to show you next. Um, it's really cute. It's just like the self-tying bin suit. I decided to tie it in the front rather than the back, but you can always like move the cups around if you'd rather the tie in the back. And it's just like these tie side bottoms. 
that they can adjust on either side, which is really nice. They are a cheapier style, but you can obviously not hike it up like I do, but I just prefer a cheekier thong kind of style because I'm not a big tan line kind of person. So I just hike it right on up there um, to each their own. Some people want less coverage, some people want even want more coverage. Totally up to you. Again, they're adjustable, so you can do whatever you want with them. <laughs> The next bathing suit, like I said, is this one right here. It is this pink butterfly style, again with the tie sides. Um, it doesn't have like the adjustment on the front where you can like cinch it in or on the back, but you can still kind of like hike it up to like the V shape. I prefer that style on like every body type. I think it suits everybody and looks stunning. It just like elongates your leg if you like have shorter legs. Mine are pretty long, but can always use a little bit more hip action, I think. <laughs> then the top just looks like this. Um, it is a tie around the back, um, but it is not a tie around the neck. So it has just like adjustable straps on the back, which I think is actually really good. So you just get like the regular typical uh, tank top tan lines. Um, and again, you can move it in and out. So if you want to tie it in the front, you can. If you want to tie it in the back, you can. Totally up to you. You just flip it on around. Yeah, so that is a, another dupe from the Kasani Soma, I believe. It's pretty much the same print. I'm going to link both prints down below. I'm going to link the Kasani for the cherry and the uh, butterfly one down below. And I'm also going to uh, link the exact one that I have down below. It's a pretty big price difference, but the quality is actually pretty good. This bathing suit, I believe, was $13. If I'm wrong, it's going to be on the screen somewhere. But for the price, um, it's definitely a better price than obviously the designer one, I'm going to call it. But not everybody has that kind of money to spend, obviously, nor on just like a simple bathing suit. Um, so I think this is a great option. So it's not an exact do, but it's the same idea. So give or take which one you'd rather get. I think they're both stunning. I really wanted the Kasani one, but I wasn't sure about the print for myself and what it would look like. But now that I know that I love this one, I'm probably going to go and order the Kasani one just so I can support the real designer, of course, because you need to support the small businesses for sure. The next bathing suit that I have here is this black and white uh, crochet kind of bikini. So it's your standard black bottoms and then the stitching along the side is just like a white crochet again with the tie side so you can hike it up on your hips if you want um cheekier style but if you want to make it more thongs then you can just hike it right on up your little booty if you like <laughs> which is of course what i do and then this is the top this is a really confusing top to like hold up but it kind of looks like a star it's really cute so these go like over your shoulders like this and then obviously this goes over your boobs and then it ties around the back. You'll see it better on the try on portion, of course. Um, again, um, size large, but the top does fit really small. Like it does kind of press my boobs in a little bit. You'll see in the try on. Um, so if you want to size up, I'm not sure if it came in an extra large. Um, if it does, then just keep that in mind if you're a larger chested girl like I am. I am a 34 double D or 32 triple D in Victoria's Secret sizing. Um, so keep that in mind when ordering if you want to compare your size with my size. There you go. <laughs> All right, the next thing suit I have here is what summer 2020 has has everyone just going crazy for. If you don't know what it is, you probably do know now. It is tie-dye. Everybody is going crazy for tie-dye right now, myself included, whether it's DIYing it yourself, buying a pre-tie-dye bikini, sweater, tracksuit, whatever you wanna buy. It's just huge right now. Every company is doing it. Everything's selling out in it because it's just so cute. It's so like retro in the modern style and I love it. So again, it is the tie side, very cheeky style. Um, so this one does have the adjustable front and back. So you can put it more in if you want. Same with at the back, it is adjustable at the back as well. And here is the top. It is just your typical triangle top. Again, you can do it on, you can tie it on the inside, or sorry, the front or on the back, it's up to you. It is double lined, but the inside of this one is white, so like, if you move a weird way, sometimes you can like, see like the white like poke out, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but for the price, again, you're getting what you pay for. It is still great quality for the price, personally. I love it. I've had bathing suits from Zaffle, which is like pretty much like the sister company to Shein, that have lasted me years. One, my cat chew up, so that one didn't last very long, but I've taken bathing suits like this on vacations and they've lasted me 
a pretty long time. So because I enjoy tie-dye so much, I went and ordered the exact same bathing suit in a different color. But this time I kind of ordered a little bit more of a different one um, and it kind of turned out to look like cow print unintentionally. <laughs> it is a white and tan one but I'm kind of obsessed with it. Uh, the cow print is kind of making a comeback from what was the era? The 60s? The 70s? Oh I may be wrong. I'll have to look that up. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but animal print is just everywhere. Start out with leopard, zebra, cheetah, cow prints making a comeback, butterflies are now in, tie dye is in. I love it. All the retro vibes. It's great. So again, it's the same style, tie side. Hike it up your little booty if you like. It's got the adjustable uh, front and back. So if you want it more thong, if you want it less thong, you do you, girl, whatever makes you more confident. Uh, same tie um, triangle top, uh, can tie in the front, tie in the back, whatever is your prerogative. Again, it is the white line on the inside, but with this one being a more like white base, ba base bathing suit, I don't think it would matter that much if it poked out because it would just kind of like blend a little bit better. But I definitely really enjoy that one. It's different than the other tie-dyes I've seen. Because when I, I feel like when you think of tie-dye, you think of like the rainbow traditional tie-dye or like a neon tie-dye. And as much as I love neon for like a bathing suit, I'm not a big neon fan for like clothes. But that one, I just, I, I don't know, it just looks great with a tan. It's really cute. I feel like it would suit every skin tone too. It's really beautiful. Because I'm typically pretty pale, but in the summer I can get really tanned. And I think it looks great. I love it. So this next bikini is definitely a dupe of an Opali bathing suit just because of the bottom style, the way it V's in the center. Um, it is also a tie side. These bottoms run a little bit larger too and the top is like very small. So I would say these bottoms kind of fit like an extra large and the top fits like a medium or small. So this one's a little bit weird. You'll see in the try on how there's like a lot of fabric in the back. Um, so you can kind of like make it more cheeky or you can hike it up. Again, it's totally up to you. They're all adjustable. I bought larges because I knew if they were going to be too big, I can tie the side, I can hike it up higher, and I can tighten it and we'll be okay. So again, ties on the side. Front and back is not adjustable, but the sides are. So you can always tighten it that way. And then the top just looks like this. So this is a little weird to hold up to. Hold on. <laughs> what the top looks like, again, your arms just go through here. So it's kind of like a tank top style. And then it triangles down into the middle with like a tie in the front, which is really cute. And then it's got super, super, super long strings in the back. So if you want to like wrap it around your belly, I'll show you two different ways in the try on haul. You can tie it just once in the back so you don't have any extra strings hanging down because this is very stringy. They're all over the place here. Or if you want a little bit of a waist action, then you can tie it and wrap it around your stomach and tie it in the front. I think it's super cute either way. And this color makes you look super tan, so that's a plus. <laughs> All right, and the next bathing suit I have right here is another butterfly print in the same uh, ruched bottoms with the tie size, so you can adjust front and back. It is just this cute white little print with the blue butterflies all over it. The whole blue butterfly uh, trend I think is bigger than just like a standard butterfly trend, but again, a butterfly is a butterfly. I love them, and I really want to get a tattoo of one. Hopefully soon I can go get my tattoos. I want to book an appointment really soon. And then the top just looks like this. It's a standard triangle top, but what's really cute about this one is that it has like a frill on the bottom underneath the string. It's hard to see right now. I mean, you can kind of see it. You'll see it on the try on haul. Try on haul? <laughs> the try on haul part of this video. Um, again, if you want to tie it in the front, you can tie it in the front or you can tie it in the back if you want whatever suits your fancy. And that top runs pretty small too, I would say. Um, the bottoms kind of fit like a medium and the top kind of fits like a small. All right, this next bathing suit is a style that you either love it or you hate it. I have seen so many TikToks of girls saying, I don't want to see this style of bathing suit on the beach anymore, but I am all about this bathing suit. I saw Amber Scholl um, do a Shein haul or a cheap bathing suit kind of haul, and she did, she had this bathing suit. I'm sorry, my upper lip's like really sweaty. It's really hot in here. <laughs> Um, she had the neon pink version of this one and as much as I love pink, I'm not a big neon pink kind of gal. Um, I'm more of just like a neutral kind of gal. Uh, so I went the safer route and I got it in black. So it is this style here that just goes right um, over your boobs like so. Um, not a lot of support at all. Very short strings too so you can't really tie it like 
you can tie it tight, but like there's not a lot of string hanging down, so you kind of don't, don't have a lot to work with. But it moves in and out, so if you want more cleavage showing, you can. If you want to pull it in, you can do less cleavage showing. So I think that's really great. Um, top fits exactly like a large, so if you're a large and you order a large, it's going to fit you. Uh, and these are the bottoms, they are just a standard black uh, tie side bottom with the ruched detailing, so if you want to cinch it in the front or cinch it in the back, you can totally do that. I'm obsessed with this bathing suit. I would say these next three bathing suits are my favorite ones. And so if you're going to buy any of the bathing suits out of this haul, these three are the ones to buy, in my opinion. So everybody needs a leopard bathing suit in their bikini collection. I think it's just an essential. It is so sexy. It makes everyone look so cute and fierce and it suits every body skin type, every body style. It just makes the girls look fantastic and I'm here for it. So here are the bottoms. They are a thicker tie side so it offers a lot more support. They do have the adjustable crotch and front so if you want to cinch it in, hike it up. And then the top is just a standard triangle top. You kind of notice a trend. I just go for like the standard uh, tie side and triangle because I'm not a huge tan line fan. I don't like a lot of like extra stuff going on. So here is the triangle top. Um, again, around the neck has the thin strap, around the waist has the thick strap. Tie it in the front, tie it in the back, do whatever. And if you want, you could probably even tie the thick part around the neck and tie the skinnier strap around your waist. So if you want kind of like a scoop neck, you can totally do that. That's the great thing about um, triangle tops is that they're actually very, very versatile. You could wear them multiple different ways. All right, and for my absolute favorite bikini in this entire haul, I was this was probably the one I was most iffy on too because it is, a, it is not a tie side. So I was really nervous about it fitting, but oh my gosh, when I put it on, you're gonna see in the try-on haul, it just snatches in that waist. I don't know if it's intentional or unintentional, but oh my god, just hike it up on your hips, girl. It's gonna make your hips look nice and wide. Got those birthing hips. It's gonna make the booty look fantastic. I'm gonna stop talking about it. I'm just gonna show you, but I'm so excited about it. It is these bottoms right here. It does have a little bit of a V going on. It's got these gold detailing chains on the sides here. It is not adjustable at all, so it's just these are the bottoms, this is it, but oh my god, they fit fantastic. They, the bottoms don't fit like a large, the bottoms fit like a medium, because I am a true medium in most brands, um, so those bottoms fit like a medium, and this top fits like a small. Uh, so the top is a basic triangle top, but again, it has that gorgeous gold detailing with the little cutouts in it. It's got the gold on the strap, it's got the gold in the front, but what's fantastic about it is that it's not gold all the way around, so it is adjustable on the neck and it is adjustable around. So whether you're um, shorter torso, whether you're short, skinnier around, um, you can adjust it to however your body is. So that's a great part about adjustable bathing suits. You can adjust it to your body style. That's why I usually go bigger because you can always make it smaller. Easier to take away fabric than it is to add fabric. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was everything I ordered from Shein. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I provided enough information on all the bathing suits. If you have any specific questions regarding any of them, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, again, I am going to link every single bathing suit in the description box, so check it out. And I will try to find the designer dupe of what they're kind of modeling after down below as well so I can give credits to the original designers because I firmly believe in not stealing designs but when it comes to a dupe where it's not an exact replica I think it's totally fair I think it's fair game because these are all not all of them a couple of them are dupes they're not exact replicas so I have no issues with that kind of thing So with that being said, um, this is the end of this video, this try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As for when I'm going to upload next, I'm not sure when that is going to be. I don't want to put any timestamps on it. I don't want to make any promises because I do still have a full-time job and I, ha I do have other hobbies and I just don't want to make any promises that I can't keep. So I'm going to aim for once a week. If it doesn't happen, I apologize. But as for my content, it will be bikini reviews, bikini hauls, um, comparing different companies and brands, qualities, 
uh, different styles. If there's certain styles that I did not order, because I do know that I order pretty much the same style in all of these, because that just works for that's that's just what works best for me. So if there's a certain style you want to see, let me know down below and I will do my best to try to find a bathing suit that will fit everybody, that everybody will like, and same with companies. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys again.